Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how I made my dice tray for my battle reports. Battle reports will be starting here on the channel next month, and I needed a dice tray, so I thought I'd build one and show you exactly how I did it in this video. There's lots of ways to do this, but I just grabbed some wood that I had already, and so you can see I've got some thin plywood here, and also some wooden battens. And I thought I'd get a mouse mat with the printed logo on there to sit inside of a frame. And I got this on Amazon, I'll put a link down in the description below in case you want to order your own mouse mat and build one yourself. But this was £6.99, and you can customise it, and so you just click on this button here, add the photo you want to use, and then within a couple of days this is posted out to you, and so a nice, easy and quick solution to the problem. The first step was just to trace around the mouse mat on this piece of thin plywood that I've got, so I went all around with a pencil. That gave me a nice template then to work with, and so I just measured all around so I could trim that wood off, this will give me a guide all around then so I can glue on the wooden battens and then I'll be able to place that mat inside it. And I'm gonna, not going to glue the mouse mat in so that if I want to replace it any time, change it with a different mouse mat occasionally, then I'll be able to just take it in and out really easily. Next I grabbed a couple of clamps and a saw and I just clamped that piece of wood down and then just went along all those lines that I'd measured up. And I did that on both sides and then we've got a nice rectangle shape that I then just got some sandpaper and just made it nice and smooth all the way round. Next I used that guideline and the mouse mat to just measure up all the battens and cut those different size battens out so it's four all together and again just sanded the edges so it's nice and smooth and also I went down all the long edges too. I placed them on the board then and put the mouse mat inside just to make sure it fitted and then grabbed some Gorilla wood glue and this is going to fix all the wood together. This stuff's great, it says on the bottle that the glue is stronger than the actual wood, so that's pretty cool. And I put a blob on each end, and so just like that, on each end of the baton, and I did that with the other piece as well, and then I glued the frame together. Then once all that wood was attached, I used the clamps just to hold it in place, and one on each side, so close those together, and then just make sure it's all lined up nice and square, tighten up the clamps, and then I just gave it a good push down just to make sure it was completely flat all the way around. After 20 minutes that's set really well so I've left the clamps on just a little bit longer while I do the next piece and I just turned it over so I know that that side is completely flat. Then I put just a bead of glue all around that frame and this is what I'm going to fix that ply board to in a second. And here's the ply board, so it doesn't go right to the edge, but that's okay. There's just going to be a little gap all the way around. So just make sure it's nice and even, and then just place it there. And then rather than using clamps, I'm just going to put some weights on this. So I grabbed some books, and then just piled those books on top just to give that weight. That's going to push it down, get a nice seal with that glue. And then after about 20 minutes or so, once that's got a good fix, I'll just put in a few screws just to make sure it's nice and secure. That's nice and secure now, so here's the little screw, just some tiny ones, just to give it a bit of extra strength. And I tried just screwing it in first um, without any guide holes or anything like that, but I found that the little screw was just coming up the edge a little bit, so that's going to catch on the cloth when I use it. So I took a drill bit and I just drilled in a little bit of a hole so that that top of the screw or the head of the screw would just sit in there nicely and be flush with the wood itself. So I did that all the way around and then I put the screws in so you can see there's holes going all around now put about nine all together or eight all together I should say and then pop those screws in that's better nice and flush now let's get those clamps off this is going to be nice and fixed now it does say to leave it cure for 24 hours but as it stands this is nice and glued together now so that's our frame and now I can pop that mouse mat in that's going to fit perfectly just run it all around the edge and then I can put new ones in if I want to change it up for different games or just go along with this so that's held in there really nicely now and that's the finished dice tray so let's get rolling some dice and see how it works Let's try with the 16 mil dice first, so this is definitely going to work with those chunky dice. Then some polyhedral dice, that works as well. More 16 mil, some Warcry ones, 
and then we've got some little smaller ones now these are 12 mil so you can get loads in there and then the 14 mil dice that works perfectly too so really happy with this and now i'll be ready to do some serious dice rolling for the battle reports I hope this showed just how easy it is to make a dice tray for your game and using the mouse mat is a great way to get a decent quality logo printed up really quickly and to have something that absorbs those dice rolls so they don't go bouncing all over the place. But you don't have to do that. I'm sure you could just roll it straight onto the wood if you wanted to or put some kind of felt or something inside as well to absorb it. You'll be seeing a lot of this dice tray once those battle reports get started next month. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.